guys and welcome to another Sims 4 room build. This one's kind of an interesting build. It's a little bit on the smaller side because it's just a room and it's just a backyard which I don't think I've ever done on the channel and I really don't actually think I've ever done full stop. I usually think of my backyards as just part of the landscaping when I'm building a full house but I was kind of thinking it would be cool to have a backyard to just plop onto my builds and like a small little one but packed with stuff to do. So I kind of gave myself that challenge of how do I make a small yard packed with stuff to do. So all I have is the back wall of a house and this picket fence which I thought was super cute to start. It is kind of hard because in my game right now it is fall and or possibly spring but very early spring in any case. Um, it is not very good uh, plant weather but there are some pretty plants going in this backyard. There's some gardening, there's a place for laundry and there's a place for grilling and eating and a picnic basket and some room for the kids. They have water balloons and a place to swing. I think it's really cool. I actually really like the way this turned out. It feels a little weird and unfinished simply because there's no house. Um, but I'm really really happy with how it turned out. This build is also a little bit slower compared to my normal speed builds because my editing software is slowly crashing and burning and the new feature that I have just spontaneously lost is the ability to truly speed up um, my footage, which is really, really fun. Uh, today it just wouldn't speed it up any faster. So you were seeing about double the speed in which I usually build if it feels like it's extremely slow. It's because I'm actually an extremely slow builder, which is really kind of funny because like I'm usually a very fast paced person. You can tell by the way I talk and I speak like my I tend to do things sort of in a rushed quick manner. But when I sit down to build in the Sims, I tend to build very slowly, which is actually I think why it's so relaxing. And I think that's why I like to build cozy little things like this. We started with the gate on the side and I really liked that idea at first because it meant a sim could just come in and go straight inside like use the back door but I ended up moving it because I wanted to put the laundry right out the back door because if you're doing laundry on a line you want quick access in and out right like you want to be able to access your sink you want to be able to access your running water there is no hose and thinking about that now I should have added a hose I didn't think it through but there is a wind chime which I actually like I know a lot of people get really annoyed by but I like adding wind chimes to my personal builds the gardening, there is, I started with three, for some reason I could not get three to work in this um, particular layout, and it didn't matter where I laid them out. Like I did a bunch of testing off camera because I wanted to keep the three, and no matter, I think it's just too small space, I'm not sure what was going on, but for some reason in my game, if I put three planters down in any orientation, one wasn't going to work, one was not going to be reachable by my sim. Not again sure what happened there. So um, we went ahead with two planters. Everything else, and the two planters do work. Everything else in the lot has been tested. It works. Um, you're going to get an accidental meal with this if you download it off the gallery because in testing the grill, my sim made grilled veggies. So that, you know, bonus when you download the lot, you've already got food on, on property. That's pretty great. And I think when you download the lot, the... I don't know if upgrades stay on the gallery. If they do, then your, um, whatchamacallit, that you hang clothes on, your clothesline, there we go, is upgraded as well. We went ahead and, and tested that out to make sure it all worked. So everything on the lot is functional despite being really, really tiny and covered in plants and kind of looking a little bit mussy and well used. I really love how this turned out. The, the screenshots don't do it justice in my opinion because it's really cute and really cute on the back of a lot. Um, but obviously because there's no house and it's in the part of Newcrest where I do a lot of like dollhouse builds and stuff, it looks super funky. But I think it turned out really cute and I think it's going to be a good addition and I'm actually really excited to have it personally because I have like three lots in my personal gameplay right now where like I'm going to have kids and should have like a cute fenced safe backyard and this is going to be perfect for that. But having said that, I can hear my voice starting to go. I don't have a lot of time to record today, so I'm going to leave this here. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're feeling loved. And if you're not feeling loved, please know that I love you and I'm glad you exist. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're hanging out. I'm really excited to see what you do with this backyard or how you would build a backyard. Maybe reply to me. Is that still a thing people do on YouTube with your builds? I'd love, love, love to see it. I love you guys and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.